Hi everyone, this is Fikayo of FikitOut.com and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to display records from a MySQL database using PHP on your web page. Um, I have opened here in phpMyAdmin uh, a table in my tutorials uh, database. The table is named employees and uh, employees actually has four columns or is it five columns rather, sorry the ID, the name, age, position and salary of each employee. So what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is um, fetching this data from the database and outputting it on my page using PHP. So um, quickly I'm going to jump into my code. I have a page set up here, employee data. All that is contained here is just HTML for now. So I'm going to be fetching the data from the table and displaying it in on this page with an HTML table. So quickly I'm going to put my PHP block and um, first I'm going to make a connection to my database. So MySQL connect. And, um, I'm running on localhost, so let's put localhost there. My username root my password is blank. Okay. Second thing I'm going to be doing is um selecting my database. Select DB and say MySQL select DB. The database I'm selecting here is the tutorials database. Tutorials. Let me save that. So I've connected to my database, selected the actual database from the list of databases I have there. The next thing I'm going to be doing is um, fetching the records. I'm going to create a variable called SQL and as a query in it I'm going to say select all from the table employees employees okay good so that's my query and uh, I'm going to send the query to my database using the MySQL query function. Just simply going to pass my SQL in it and uh, end that there. I'm going to put this in a variable called records. Called records. So I have my query in the variable called records. Then um, Next thing I'm going to be doing is displaying my data. Now I've queried the database and uh, next thing I'm going to happen is for me to display my data. So I jump into my table, into my body rather, and quickly create an HTML table. Table, and give it a width. Width of let's say 600 pixels. And uh, a border of one of one cell padding one and cell spacing also equal to one me correct cell pattern the G there. Okay, so go down here and close my table. And first I'm going to set my headers. Create a row for my headers. 
then I simply want to display the name it will display the name of the employee next I will display the age of the employee and just copy this I'm going to display the age next is the position then the salary okay I have the name the age and position salary is there in my header row so going to this is where the magic happens I'm going to go into my block and I'm going to create a row each for each employee now each employee is going to be having a row so I'm going to be setting a loop to loop over the results that I'm getting from my database and each loop is going to create a row now to do that simply say while employee equals my SQL fetch associative array then I'm going to pass my query result inside which is records query result inside which is records I'll open the curly brace for the while and close it and I'll put a comment here saying end while okay so this is going to loop over each record and it will it's going to for each employee is going to set a record set into this variable and I'm going to be outputting it here each employee with one row so first I'm going to echo out the HTML first I'm going to be needing the row let's copy this and just set the row close the tag I'm going to be creating my I'm going to be creating my data bunch here with TD tags echo TD I put a quotes around that make it valid save then inside here within the TD I'm going to be concatenating the variable that is going to hold the value so the first thing I'm going the first value I'm going to be putting is the name and it's in the database the field that holds that is name lowercase name age position salary those are the uh, values I'm going to be needing sorry about that so for the moment say employee employee then it's an associative array so I'm going to pick the name value I'll simply just copy this for the rest So after the name, I'm going to be outputting the age. Then I'll output the position of the employee. And the employee. Then next, I'm going to output the employee salary. Now as you can see I'm looping over the records I've gotten from the database and I'm putting each employee record into this variable called employee and since it's returned as an associative array using the MySQL fetch asoc function I can actually use the keys of each value in the array to access them and I'll display them on each cell 
in my table and this entire row represents one employee and it keeps looping over the results until it is exhausted so i'm going to save that run to the syntax again we connect it to our database we selected the database we're going to be using we set our query select all from employees we um, queried our database then down here we set a loop on the records that are sent this records variable set a loop on every record sent and we echoed the whole row out getting the name the age the position and the salary so i'm going to um go to my browser see if we can have that displayed i'm going to refresh this page and as you can see i now have the same data i have here mike pablo james daniel emily grant their ages the positions the designer lead programmer accountant and their salaries i have them here all displayed in clean html on my page so um it's not compulsory to use tables to display them you can use lists you can use divs you can use anything you want but uh the basic idea here is just to see how to pull uh, records from a database and um display it on your page using php and uh, you can edit your sql you just might not be getting all the employees you might just be getting a few employees so these are desired result and uh I think we've done a good job with that uh i hope you guys get the idea behind this tutorial i hope you are going to put it to a lot of awesome use and i'll keep encouraging you to visit fikitout.com and uh, also our uh, youtube channel you can subscribe to our channel to see our recent videos and uh, check our site to see the dvds we are producing we are going to be producing we, producing we have a php dvd you can check that out and order for it to learn more about php and uh, so many other lovely things you can find there so i would say at this point all the best